Well, there's one thing that I can't really teach you, and that's situational awareness. Note, the distance between my tailgate and the tongue here of uh, the trailer is quite long. It's easily almost six feet. And so I have a lot of latitude. The corner of this trailer to the handle there of the thing is a very long distance. So I can make a pretty sharp turn without the trailer wanting to jackknife onto itself. I don't know how long your boat is, how wide your boat is, how long your trailer is, how wide your trailer is. Are you running a simple, are you using your car? Are you using a truck? Are you using a dually? Are you using a van? Are you using a motor home? You know, when you consider all those factors, I can't really tell you ultimately how it is you should back out your trailer. So when it comes to the more complicated maneuvers of backing out a trailer, say you want to back it out 90 degrees, here and you're gonna turn here just like down the street a whole lot of other factors come into play now if you're like me and you have a ditch or a ravine or something like that where you have a fairly narrow opening to your driveway to, for drainage of water and things like this and this will also provide a, a, another uh, an added difficulty because you don't want your truck or your trailer to get stuck down in that so negotiating the truck the boat trailer where it is now 90 degrees here down the the, uh, the road also depends on how wide the road itself is because you're going to use up the whole roadway it's a fairly narrow country it's sort of sort of street here you never want that trailer to get 90 degrees to the truck because you'll just jackknife Yeah, I mean, my whole point is once you put your hand at the bottom of the steering wheel and you look back, then you go from that to check your mirrors, to check the alignment, and then try to back up with the mirrors and the, and, and the mirrors by themselves, and then stop and you need to be flowing between all these, looking around, looking at the mirrors, and putting it all together so where there's this one big picture in your head of what's going on. And even if you need to stop and pause for a few seconds to get your bearings again, that's fine. I don't really give a rip what you look like on the river. I don't give a rip what you look like at the boat dock. The only thing I give a rip about is you getting your boat out of the driveway safely, 
down the boat ramp safely and back home safely. That's all I care about. And that's how I approach getting the boat in and out of the driveway safely, especially negotiating your 90 degree bend. It's all about situational awareness. Let me know if that's uh, helpful. And uh, I'll see you.